Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we are going to speak regarding epic hero, epic magic hero Atheus. Simply because um, Atheus has been popular since the day one of the Call of Dragons and he is keeping to be famous and popular in the battlefield even with the tier 5 players. And whenever epic hero is that so viable we need to speak regarding him, right? Because as a free to play players for us it's way easier to awaken epic heroes so uh, every each epic hero is a good thing to, for us whenever they are strong uh, also another reason why i want to speak regarding atheus is like soon we are going to get uh, bertrand the legendary flying hero and i think atheus and bertrand has a good uh, synergy uh, between them so that's why uh, in, in, in terms of getting more popular soon, Atheus will be in the top shell, I think. So, in order for us to understand why Atheus have been so good, uh, we need to know his skills, right? Uh, why and how he managed to be in a flying units legion all the time. Uh, and we need to mention that in general, League of Orders has one of the best special units in the game, Celestials, right? And Celestials and Atheus are kind of same thing, like Atheus is Celestial himself. So the first skill, uh, always the important skill, the damage factor skill, simple skill with the 800 damage. And like legendary heroes have like at least 1000 damage factor but 800 for epic hero is totally fine right the second skill uh, launching a normal attack has a 30 percent chance to grant atheus legions 60 rage so like in general uh, whenever we th we see on a on a hero something like uh, like uh, rage accumulation speed extra rage which means that atheus is already in a playstyle of getting as much rage as possible to deal as much uh, skill damage as possible like as soon as possible right uh, already a good sign because because uh, on an epic hero uh, extra rage is great right uh, third skill is like HP bonus uh, up to 10% and healing received bonus up to 15%. Uh, like uh, right now it might be awkward right to understand what's the synergy like here is damage factor, he is rage, uh, rage gained and healing received in, on a magic hero. But in the end it will be more understandable for you guys. The third skill is march speed bonus up to 20%. And the damage taken reduction at up to 10%. Uh, we need to mention that here you are getting HP bonus, healing uh, received bonus, and here you're getting damage reduction and march speed bonus, right? Uh, both survivable, uh, survivability skills uh, on the Atheus uh, uh, skill set. The Awakening... Uh, Skill is where like Atheus Legion has a 30% chance to receive healing when he hit with a normal attack. So like uh, he every time you're gonna hit a normal attack to enemy, there is a 30% chance that you're gonna get 400 healing uh, on your Legion, and this can be triggered every 10 seconds. So like um, Atheus can be seen with these skills like all around hero, right? Uh, and the all around hero, like whenever we're gonna speak about hero pairs, you're gonna understand what kind of perfect hero pair he has, even right now in the game, and how he matches with his skill set on every single skill, right? Uh, until we're gonna move to the hero pairs, uh, we're gonna speak regarding talents because in general for a magic hero, magic PvP uh, is a great talent to have. I think for a magic uh, uh, talents, uh, skills is the best uh, uh, third uh, talent tree, but mobility can be fine too. Uh, in general, I think Atheus can be better as a secondary hero, but still we're gonna speak regarding talents. And I think the main talent tree for the Atheus will be PvP tree until the full end uh, magic tree until the half. Uh, of course, if you want to have more mobility while you are playing with flying mages, right? You can go to the mobility at the half, but I would not recommend to uh, go to the mobility until the end, right? I think like first choice is a PvP uh, tree until the full and uh, the magic in the half, and then the second. Uh, 
uh, style of gameplay is like magic until the full and pvp until the half uh, simply because like pvp tree is great in the battlefield and in general flying heroes and flying legions are amazing on the terrains of the map like on the rivers right uh, mobility is great but you are playing as a flying unit and flying units are like one of the most fastest units in general by itself and uh, like you are already faster than any anyone uh, right that's why like this mobility tree is kind of extra so like pvp tree until the half and magic until the uh pvp tree until the full and magic until the half and magic until the full or pvp until the half that's like two uh play styles i would recommend to choose on the talent tree um all well, now it's time for us to speak regarding hero pairs uh, like i i speak I spoke uh, highly regarding like one hero pair, but sadly, like there is not much, uh, like there is not a couple of heroes for Atheist to be in pairs. Uh, one of the most perfect and most important hero pair currently is with Thea. Uh, Thea is uh, primary and Atheist is secondary. Like in order for us to understand why this is so good, like I'm sure you remember, guys, right? Damage factor, extra rage, uh, healing received, HP bonus, damage reduction, march speed, right? Here you are getting a uh, shield skill damage more more skill damage for, for the atheos first skill attack bonus skill damage taken again for skill damage reduction here uh double bonus march speed bonus uh, even more mobility and uh both attack bonuses so in general like you will be more more of a like a, a buffer for each other like these two heroes will buff each other like atheos will give thea the rage uh thea will give atheos the shields and buffs and from the large distance of the celestials this will be the amazing combination amazing legion like even the tier 4 players late tier 4 players tier 5 players are still uh, playing the Thea, uh, Thea and Atheist uh, combo and also like it depends on your playstyle you can even go to the Atheist and Thea combination a lot of people like overall uh, PvP tree of the Thea but there is some people who likes uh, magic and PvP or PvP and magic even more so you can like choose between between whom you want to use the talents uh, simply because uh, only primary heroes talents uh, can be attached to the legion in the effect so uh, like atheist main and most favorite uh, um, hero pair is the Thea. Like you can even uh, understand that there are hero pairs together simply with the looks, right? Angel, uh, some kind of higher angel, right? Uh, I don't know about the lore of the Call of Dragons, but they do look like similar. Uh, like other hero pairs, I think uh, in the future, whenever Bertrand will be uh, will be usable uh, for us. Uh, uh, Bertrand and Atheos will be great pair. Uh, they are both flying heroes. Both are major. I think Bertrand will be primary because skill tree is amazing for any kind of major legion. And Atheos will be secondary. Again, yep, like for Bertrand, Thea will be great too. Uh, so like this is why uh, like does like Atheos does not have many hero pairs. Uh, he has like one, and that's one of the strongest since the day one. It's a it's a Thea. So if you like to if you are playing with League of Orders and I'm I'm thinking of changing to League of Orders by myself you are having fun because you have Thea, you have, you have Atheist, Awakened, and you are dealing a lot of damage into the battlefield with a wrong, wrong uh, range. Uh, other than that, it's time for us to speak regarding uh, uh, artifacts, and as always, I will speak uh, about artifacts which are right now gettable and we can actually get, right? Of course, uh, when we are speaking about magic heroes and magic units, in general, we have two playstyles in artifacts. One is like more offensive, more more PvP artifact, and second one is more utility artifacts uh, and more of like healing and shielding and stuff like this, right? Uh, one of the most uh, uh, offensive uh, magic artifacts are Phoenix Eye, like magic unit attack and Legion attack. Uh, also, one of the best uh, skills. Uh, to, actually, today I got second Phoenix Eye, and my my burst at strike is on the second level. Like you are dealing uh, damage to four nearby legions, and the um, second level of burst strike is to. 1500 damage one level was 2000 damage pure so like amazing artifact for any kind of mage unit if you have it you will be of course really really happier about it and i will be happy for you 
regarding like versatile artifact of course tier of arbon uh, amazing artifact for uh, wars whenever there is a lot of legions around the battlefield you can use it anytime and uh, you will be happy whenever you will use this artifact and your alliance members will be really really happy for you uh, but it's more of like defensive artifact, like magic unit defense is the primary uh, attribute for the uh, artifact and the legion defense. The skill like uh, up to 4 friendly units, you can give like healing factor 400 up to like 8 seconds. Uh, this is great, like imagine having uh, like 10 tier of arbons between 20 legions, a great thing to have. Uh, even a small healing is like... Uh, uh, it's, it's like a water whenever you are in the war in the outfield like and you won't needed a lot of time to get there like march time and stuff like this right so other the other mage artifacts currently like you can say stuff of the prophet which i don't think is a viable option only for this skill which is like a teleport skill i would not recommend to use stuff of prophet in general in the battlefield um and of course, like in general, uh, Fang of Ashkari, um, even more defensive artifact uh, for the flying heroes, but I think it's too much. I think it's better on the uh, tangy version of TI units. I would not recommend Fang of Ashkari in general for the magic unit, because you need to get close to the enemy in order for you to use this skill. And like in general, flying uh, magic units benefit is the range, so don't use Fang of Ashkari for that. Uh, the epic artifact with which will be great for the uh, atheist uh, legion is magic bomb is uh, of course like as as always a uh, main epic uh, artifact for magic units uh, magic unit attack legion attack uh, you are dealing damage up to three nearby legions and damage is 1500 it's like a lesser a way lesser version of uh, phoenix eye in my opinion but if you don't have phoenix eye you can of course uh, use the magic bomb, it's really easy to have level 4 uh, time uh, magic bomb and the, the time of the skill upgraded whenever you are just simply playing the game and stars of course by just playing the game, opening the dark chests, uh, it will be easy for you to have the uh, magic bomb on, on the 4 star. Other than that, we can of course speak about warpets. Uh, I have already got guide about every single warpet in the game, uh, but I think for the atheists and in general for the flying heroes, main warpets are flying uh, warpets, right? Because you don't want to uh, like bear on the flying hero; it, it will interrupt everything. I think uh, like Sapphire Fair Drake can be fine, even Shadow Fair Drake, even though it's like personal warpet for the Bertrand, we can be fine and. And, uh, Berserker Frederick can be fine. You can play around the skills. I'm not gonna speak more deeply about like every single skill of the every single uh, warpet which I have mentioned. Uh, there is like a lot of guides on my channel regarding warpets and you can check it by yourself. Uh, so like you can play around uh, with the uh, Sapphire Frederick skills, you can play around with Shadow Frederick skills and you can play around with uh, Berserker Frederick skills. Every each of them can be match uh, of, uh, can be attached to the Atheist Legion and every each of them will be fine. Uh, of course, uh, I'm speaking more regarding like free-to-play players because uh, we don't have that much resources to spend a lot of uh, gems and a lot of uh, time and a lot of effort into the warpits. Uh, later in the game, whenever we're gonna unlock tier 5 uh, units, of course, we're gonna be more inside the warpits and the synergies and the mechanics. Right now, it's like another addition for us in the game. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak regarding Atheus, simply because soon it, uh, he will be more and more popular. Whenever Bertrand will be introduced to the game, uh, and like it was time for me to make a guide uh, on him because like I am doing guides one by one. There is like some guides which needs to be updated because I made them on the season one and it's already start of the kind of season three uh, soon. So yeah, I will be updating the updating even some warped guides and some of the hero guides. Uh, the last updated guide was about Walder, which is the last widow. Um, I hope you are liking the content. I hope uh, you are enjoying uh, the stuff I'm making. Uh, I really enjoy the comments of you guys. And 
I hope you are liking the video and clicking the subscribe button because it will be uh, more and more motivation for me to continue. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my microphone might be sometimes a little weird. I'm, I don't have a mic. I'm using only laptop with for everything. So like, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna continue doing what I have been doing for the past uh, couple of months. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you very very soon.